We're sending this to the uh, Santa Cruz Warriors G League team. Alright, let me get my one my one shot of fame. Alright. That's it. Alright, we're in New York right now. Uh, walking through. We got Woodsy here. What up? What up, what up? So we're gonna go to Bleaker. Bleaker Trading. We're gonna film a feature over there. Uh, you excited? I'm always excited. He might be picking up a Jordan by the end of this video. Might be. Might be. Put your hand out to get a cab. Alright. My first time in a cab in years. If you've never heard of Bleaker Trading, it is probably the best social hangout spot for sports car collectors. They do trade nights, they do deals there. Mark Zabalo, Jake, Jacob, breaks with Jess. So they have some great stuff over there, so we're gonna go check it out. Bleaker and Christopher. Going to Bleaker Trading. Let's get it. Let's get it. We're here at Bleaker Trading. And I'm here right now with the owner, Mark Zabalo. Give back, give back. Hello, Bleaker Trading. There it is. All right, <laughs> you so. Get, you get my man Jeff? Yeah, we got him in there. All right, all right, all right. So Mark's gonna give us a quick run through. I wanna show you guys what Bleaker is all about. If you haven't heard of Bleaker, go follow him on Instagram, Bleaker Trading down below. They host trade nights. You guys Collector have box showcases, breaks. showcases, box breaks, um, even birthday parties. Let's do it. Show Let's us do what's it. going on. Let's do it. Well, the good news is with our shop, we've gotten a ton of content already, so hopefully most people have seen us, but welcome to a normal day at Bleaker. We kind of break Bleaker up as a social club into three different rooms. Uh, Jacob's counting the cash. Is Look at Jake. Jacob. We got breaks with Jess here. Cutting some deals. We got breaks with Jess. We got some of the crew, but ultimately this is uh, really where we started. Just our small little pop-up shop, place to break, do some content. We have our Bleaker merch that we have for sale. Big shout to Upper Deck who won't recognize us as an LCS, so we'll sell their merch until they sell us cards. <laughs> uh, waiting for that. Uh, so you guys do a lot of merch. A lot of merch. Our partnership with Zero Cool that we just had for our Jackass boxes, which was a ton of fun. And this is kind of the Bleaker Wall of Fame right here. Just, you know, some amazing things that we've been able to be a part of. Even uh, funny enough, like when the Wall Street Journal talked about Fanatics taking over trading cards, they took a picture from our trade night. Uh, our partnerships with Andy Friedman, Don Diego, Call of Duty, Wu-Tang Clan. Uh, DJ Ski. We gotta get you one know. of my stickers up there. Yeah, we do. We gotta get some Mojo stickers. All right, all right. All Very right. cool. So cool. So, yeah, so, so tell so, me about the social hangouts. Well. So this is where all the trade nights. Yeah. Are. So trade out here, like really, when the pandemic. Why is this? Let me ask this. Why is this different than a card shop? Why did you want to focus on like a social hangout versus being a card shop only? Well, let's think about it, right? Like, what's the vibe on card shops? And I've said this a thousand times. It's, it's that Simpsons vibe of curmudgeonly dude can't touch anything, can't price anything, can't hang out. For us, it was the opposite. We needed a place to hang out. There was nowhere in New York City to buy a top loader, let alone go into. Uh, so during the pandemic, especially when we were thinking about what do we need, we need a place to hang out, place to watch a game, place to watch a UFC fight, um, and really a place to just hang with other collectors, buy, trade, sell. We offer a, you know oddball selection of what we call a fun to find type products as well in our collection. Um, and that really was needed. What we felt was really something for New York City. We Let's really didn't have much. Let's keep rolling. What else we got? So, uh, you know, rest of the shop, we kind of do, especially on trade nights, is we're more of deals, we'll eat, we'll hang, um, and just really kind of make it our space. You know, funny enough, if our bathrooms, we treat these kind of as more of, you know, our showcase as well. Yeah. Um, just kind we of got the suit ready for today. Yeah, get the suit ready for tonight. Got some award show coming. Um, and then even, uh, let's hope. Uh, How often are trade nights hosted here? Um, trade nights here are twice a, twice a month. I think what's fun too is we have probably one of the coolest female bathrooms what do we got in here? the hobby. Um, you know, just kind of the way you know we design it. We have from our skybox art to you know our limited Call of Duty prints. But you know, I think we're probably the only LCS showing off the bathrooms. Uh, and then just you know some of our art from some of our favorite collabs. So we've done a massive collab with Natural. I love this piece. It means a ton to me. It's actually Iverson crossing Jordan over in a skeleton, uh, and then Natural's oversized Jordan slab. Really fun Iverson Jordan story on this. This was made for Iverson, and for some reason or another, um, certain bills didn't get paid, and peace ended up with us. So it's kind of very Man, exciting. Look at that. So, you guys are the owners. Yeah, but you talked about trade night. Let's go outside so early. We're more of the funnest. Let's do it. Uh, very cool. So this is our backyard. Uh, as we mentioned, a lot of our trade nights, we have our screen up showing off the games, basketball hoop, and just kind of everyone hanging out. 
uh, really kind of an oasis of New York City. You don't really find an outdoor space that much. Uh, so again, especially during COVID, uh, those moments having this has really just become a differentiator. And I think what we've enjoyed the most is when you see the content from the people that have been here, it's uh, the who's who on Instagram. You see your favorite podcasters, you see your favorite people trading, and then you just see like your favorite kid collectors running around. So we do everything from, like I said, our big trade nights here to kids playing basketball for a birthday party to a Pokemon event. Like um, so yeah, and was, you know, when we get our screen up um, for the games, it makes it more fun. Um, and now we'll take you into where we partner with Cards and Coffee. I'm sure they're going to make this place, you know, look as much fun as it is. So, so what was the decision on the Cards and Coffee collaboration? Very cool. So, you know, what we always wanted was kind of a exit through the gift shop mentality yeah. with Bleaker and um, the oppor- the opportunity to open up a real retail space was something we never really thought of. Um, you know, GTS really kind of came and got behind us and let us let us kind of get going. What we realized quickly was. It's a much bigger game than we understood, let alone it's an inventory game. Look at this place. I mean, they have everything you can hope for as a kid in a candy store uh, coming through to your LCS. So when the opportunity came our way, seeing what they were doing, how they were expanding, and you talk about their management team and the way that they run things, it took them about two weeks to transform this into a really fun hobby store into the best shop, you know, literally in New York right now. Um, and we can't be more excited about it. We got their merch, they got their Gary V, you know, honorary case. This is our box we did for Jackass. Um, you know, the exclusive leaker trading, there's only 50 of these. So this was a ton of fun. Um, you know, some more homage to the hobby with our merch. One of my favorite products and brands, Skybox, That's that sick. we had some fun with. Yeah, like and then, that. you know, we got the, uh, the cards and coffee team. Ben, who's been with us forever, uh, you know, transitioning and kind of keeping the local flavor yet yeah, kind of helping bring these systems to life. Drew came in to really kind of get us going and get everything set. Uh, and it's just been uh, you know, a really good partnership only within a couple weeks. So we have a bunch of our trade nights coming up. Loops ho- hosting a collector showcase. Uh, you know, we got um, a few other special guests coming through the month. Um, and then leading into national, we have a ton of events going in. So if you're coming to the national, getting to Atlantic City isn't the most fun or accessible place. Come to New York, hang out for a couple days. We're gonna have shuttles going down to Atlantic City. We're gonna have helicopters for some of the uh, bigger wow, collectors. Yeah, get your Zion cases ready. <laughs> Let's um, go, man. And uh, you know, we'll continue to have some fun. Uh, in the meantime, you know, expect uh, a lot of good content, a lot of merch. You know, everyone knows breaks with Jess. Um, you know, she's gonna continue to grow with us, so we're very excited there. And uh, I think between what we're doing in New York with cards and coffee, some other opportunities in cities like Chicago, Cleveland, LA, um, you know, we're really excited about, you know, what the hobby's doing and our continued role in it. Let's go. All right, Mojo. Boom. So we're going to check out Bleaker Trading. Mark, give us the quick run through. I'm going to kind of show you guys what they have here, just based on my experience. Obviously, he said they have like an Oage to like Gary V. We got V friends right here. Gary obviously comes in. Um, he's a big part of the community here, and he's obviously from New York and a huge Jets fan. So Gary right there, little Gary V section. They got Jerry West, they got the Jackass collab. They got the Michael Jordan graded. They got cards, so cards and coffee collaboration. They got merch, more of these little dolls. That's one of my favorite hats that Everdeck remake. Natural was here. The premier destination for online sports car breaks 365 days a year. We got tons of stuff in here. We got singles. So tell me about your single cards in here. Do people make an offer? How does that work? Yeah, so um, I mean... So if I'm interested in that Zion 10, do you just look it up? I mean, we have prices that we set for them. Um, they're pretty firm. You yeah. know, we don't do, we don't really wiggle around too much on what we have them priced at. But like, if somebody comes in with slabs that maybe they'd want to trade or, you know, product that maybe we'd want to buy off of them, you know, we're willing to like cut a deal. It's like, oh, you know, maybe you give us some cash and some slabs and we'll trade or something like that. So we, we try to be open to trading. So you guys are open to trading on this showcase usually? Yeah. That's cool. And then wax, can we walk back here? Tell me about the wax. You guys are, last time I talked to you, so. Yeah, okay, yeah. last time. Yeah, so last time you guys didn't have as much wax, No, right? not at all. Now you're with Coffee Breakers, so you have a lot more wax yeah, selection. We have this stuff right like that. here, which is one of my personal favorite things. What is it? Where it's just packs on packs on packs. Oh, you sell them individually. Have, and some of these are from hobby. Some of them are from retail. Some of them are from fast break. So we have here. So it's kind of cool because it gives people the chance to get a big, big card out of, you know, not necessarily having to pay a big price for it. Is this like the big seller? Like, do these sell out pretty quick? These, um, people it, like to gamble, right? Yeah, they definitely do well. Um, you know, they, we get a lot of people. I mean, we had 
the Bowman packs flew. We literally had, I think it was this exact one oh. that was filled up and probably within a day was empty. Oh. So it just really depends on the product. Uh, people like the WWE packs. Yeah, 80 bucks a pack or something. The, the UFC ones do well. It's like an old school kind of thing because you could sell yeah. individual packs. Obviously, the prices are a little more expensive, but yeah. I mean, the and hobbies then, you just... Know, we have smaller stuff too, you know, some Pokemon, Pokemon for like six bucks. Um, this, you know, Topps Heritage, five dollars. Topps Chrome, you know, ten. Even so, F1 over here, just because, you know, F1 light, yeah. Give somebody a chance to get some F1 product, because, you know, how hard it is these days to get your hands on that stuff. Yeah. I mean, I love when people walk in, you can almost tell they're overwhelmed by how much selection they have, which, like, in this day and age, it's almost hard to find product. So to yeah. have that experience is, like, pretty cool. I think. Yeah, give them what they need. That's cool. That's awesome, man. Sweet. Let's go. This is so sick. It's one of Kobe's first. It's one of Kobe's first autographs right there. The Giannis jersey fanatics. Sick. RJ Barrett. Sick. They got some slabs right here. Tons of wax. We got a ton of variety here. Magic. See, they're hosting this event with the Red Bulls. Top sports card night, yeah, June 18th. Fun. That sounds sick. Looking forward to that. Tons of stuff. You guys got snacks in here for sale? <laughs> no, free. They're free they're snacks. Free. Wow, never seen that. Free snacks. Look at that. So we got Drew over here. So what did we get? We got some Pokemon in? Yeah, we got some Pokemon. Um, we got some Pokemon J uh, Japan stuff and uh, single packs. So what do you do over here with all this? Uh, just write in how many we got, inventory report, and then I, uh, I figure out the cost so we can make sure that we get the uh, LA store um, paid back for all the inventory that they sent. Um, and then we figure out what uh, we're gonna charge for it about this so some guy brought some stuff in so how does this work yeah well normally uh you know you wouldn't just drop it off and leave uh but he's yeah, a friend of this he's a friend of source yeah he, uh, he dropped it off uh ben and i are gonna take a look at it um so you drop this off so what do you guys do you price it for him and maybe buy it off him yeah so we'll uh we'll comp it and see what we could offer him um this cash cool, store credit though. or trade um otherwise uh there's a good chance that we might put it on consignment as well that's cool so when you put it on consignment how does that work um well we we aren't really doing it here yet um, so it'd be a new process that I'd be installing with Ben. Um, mm -hmm. At the LA store, um, basically you just, um, you have a consignment profile and all your cards are listed on a sheet. Um, you can withdraw the cards whenever you want. You can add more cards to, the, to your consignment profile whenever you want. So, uh, so we just gotta get that, uh, that installed here as well. Cool, all right, that's what I like to see. <clears throat> I'm here with Breaks with Jess. So tell me about what you do for Bleaker. Um, so Bleaker, basically I work with doing the trade nights, putting on events, um, bringing in partnerships, right. and I work on the back end of everything. And also, I work on the front of doing you know any social media um, content that we're doing. Uh, Jake works back end with the actual social media part, but um, I'm getting more involved really in doing some online stuff, um, doing a little bit of the breaks, hosting the trade nights, getting to work with cool people like you know recently a jackass come in. Uh, sports card investor, just planning these events and kind of just immersing myself in the hobby. So you kind of, we talked about this, you were kind of into breaking with breaks with Jess as for, at first and you came to Bleaker and you're still doing breaking, but it sounds like you're more into the brand building. What does it mean to like build a brand in this hobby? So yeah, I'm breaks with Jess. Um, basically I've been breaking for three years and I'm kind of just figuring out what I can do and what I want to do in the hobby. So I find that breaking is, it, it's fun. But if I'm not hitting the biggest stuff or, you know, people are getting frustrated, like I'd rather be more of a brand rather than, you know, just a machine. So I, I think that there's so many people who do breaking amazingly. And while I love breaking because I love the, the hobby and I love the passion of like, pulling fresh cards out of a pack, I think that I'm, I want to take it to the next level and really elevate the hobby through events and like putting on events and making content and educating people through that. Um, and building my platform out that way. So I'm kind of in a transition period, which is fun. It's always fun. Yeah, so you yeah. know, as you know, Bleaker's changing and kind of building our brand, I kind of want to build with it. Why don't you run me through like the store, like give me some of your like favorite parts of the store. This part? Yeah. So this is the retail end. side, um, basically cards and coffee. Um, took over this side and it's a full blown retail store. So I love the fact that we have 
they have slabs here now and you know boxes so you kind of get a little like taste of everything moments, so uh, anything from that, vintage to modern and then as well as memorabilia and jerseys we also have our uh, bleaker merch for sale okay. so we have a nice shameless like, uh, plug let's go i guess i'm gonna say like my favorite part is the wax still you still like the wax so like that's my heart like that's fun like i started opening wax and i will always open wax the right decision or wrong decision i don't really care um, but that's where I, I have my PC. Like yeah, I have an extensive like, that's a dope card. personal yeah, collection of cards. Like I have thousands. And it's it's bad. Uh, no, it's I have so many cards, and it's you know it's because I'll yeah, never stop yeah, yeah, opening and then this, cards. I think it's yeah. True. So let me ask you this. You, you know you talk about breaking. Like what is it about breaking that you love so much? Is it the thrill? Like does it just bring you in? Like what what brings like what's what's the concept behind just like opening one of these boxes and packs? Like why does it? Why do you think it brings you like? Jo so much joy it sounds like it brings you joy yeah it's yeah it's it's a true passion when you're doing it for solely that and opening boxes for other people when they hit something that's a one of one it's like i oh my god like this is insane it doesn't matter if it's for me or for somebody else it's like if you're hitting somebody's holy grail card or like a search product it's, it's just fun you know and feeling that excitement on my end knowing that i could provide that is super cool I like that. Where, so where can they find you on Instagram? Breaks with Jess. So Breaks with Jess. Hit her up on Instagram. Follow Bleaker Trading on Instagram. Appreciate the little tour. Thanks. I'll see you like at some that. shows. Jess, let's see the jumper. Let's see it. Yes. All right, Jake, you're next. I'm going to be right near the rim. Air Jordan. I'm terrified. All right. <laughs> This is the guy that makes it happen. It Social media, the king right here. This is Jake. What's your favorite part about Bleaker? Oh, the people, man, the community. It's the whole, it's a central spot for the East Coast. Everybody gets together, you know, we get to have people like you come out, travel, get come to the, our shop, throw events, parties. You get to bring athletes, influencers in here. It's a good time. Is it right. the deal done? We got a deal done. All right, let's hear it. Yeah, I bought this. We bought, the, we sold the card that we agreed to coming in. I appreciate that. So you got it. I did, yeah. Well, we already agreed to that. I hope you guys enjoyed this feature at Bleaker Trading. Thanks, Jake, for having us. Did you have fun? I had a great time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment down below. Come visit this place if you're in New York. The address and the Instagram are down below. Subscribe. Don't forget to comment, like, and we'll see you guys later. Peace.